Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. My name is Beaker, and today we're going to do some really sneaky Balloonian attacks in Clash Royale. So you guys know Balloonian, uh, or Loonian from Clash of Clans, it's just balloons and minions. And of course, it was always a really popular attack because it's really simple and effective, and the same thing can be said for Clash Royale. So we're going to step it up one more notch and make it even more trolly by saving the balloon until the final minute of the match. We're not going to let this guy know we have the balloon until the very, very end. Let's see what he does about that. Here we go. Let's press play. So I don't even have the balloon yet, but that's good because I don't want it yet. I want to get my pump down and I want to defend. I basically just want to look like an idiot for the whole match. I can do that. <laughs> I can definitely handle that. So we're going to zap there. We're not doing good. Wow, that level 7 hog rider is crushing us. Thankfully, though, we have level 10 minions. They are so beast. They're my only level 10 common card. They are so sick. I just requested them a lot. I would, I would recommend that, guys. Pick a card that you really like and try to get it leveled up really high by requesting it. And, and I chose minions. You know, choose your favorite, whether it's Hog Rider or... So, looks like we're kind of having a back and forth here. He's saying stuff and I'm trying to say something funny. But really, in the end, you're going to see this guy thinks he's going to win. And... Hey, it looks pretty good for him right now. I just wasted my fireball, right? And now he's coming up the field with a crazy push that we're not going to be able to stop. There's no way. There's no way we're going to be able to stop this. But remember, guys, we still have a secret. We have a secret weapon for the final end of the game. And we're going to just send it. And we might even get the three crown. Let's see what happens. So again, there we wasted our fireball on the princess. He says thanks because, yeah, that was dumb. Doesn't matter, dude. Does not matter. All we got to do is make it until the last minute. He says, good game. Basically saying to us, you lost. Peace. See you. Bye. Hang on. We'll, we'll see what happens. Skate, skate, whatever. That's his name. Bro, you, you can skate whatever. What, what, what are you trying to say? Whatever. Okay. Anyway, I'll ask you later. So there's my Valkyrie sort of defends, but we definitely are going to lose that left tower. It's gone. It's definitely going to go down. So no big deal. Uh, we'll deal with that later. But guys... What else are we going to do here? We've got down to about one minute. Can we do this? Are we going to be able to finish this? So there's the giant a little too late to distract the princess. So the princess is going to take out our tower. And this guy's like, bro, I can skate whatever. Um, You're done. Peace. See you bye. I'm going to go skate. So we're going to just go up the field here and watch this. This is where it happens. Boom. Check out the minions with the fireball. He drops a mini P.E.K.K.A. trying to take out our giant, but it's too late, you know? Like, there's nothing he can do to stop the balloon. He could drop, like, a minion horde right now, but it's too late. He does not have it. So we took out the left tower, evened everything up. Now it's back to square one. It's even, man. <laughs> it's all tied up. So amazing comeback in the last... 60 seconds right so now that we're back in it we can do the perfect push and this is it right here we have the giant we have the valkyrie we have the minions he dropped some minions as well but we're able to take him out with some zap and a help from our minions he's dropping what is that a cannon and eh, we just ran through it in a second anyway lobbed a fireball up the field did not need it and there it is that's it right that's it. I <laughs> I would just like to remind skate whatever that <laughs> he said good game I don't know if I said good game did I no? Nothing, Beak? You have no witty remark after all that? You know what the problem is? I probably got to the taunt limit. I think I do that every single game. What is it, 30 taunts or so, something crazy like that? I get to the taunt limit every single game from just spamming. Wow, wow, wow. I'm a jerk. Anyway, let me know if you guys get to the taunt limit every game. <laughs> I, I bet a lot of us do. I think everybody does it. Anyway, uh, skate whatever. Good luck, bro. So we're going to go up against this guy with a similar strategy. We're going to just sort of sort of uh, kill time for a couple of minutes. Just defend, try not to get three crowned. And then we're going to make a rush with that balloon. And it works so well, man. And it's really the way that I've been beating the Royal Giant and stuff like that. It's tough for me to beat the Royal Giant because I don't have any defenses. Um, I don't even have barbs. I think barbs are one of the best counters to the Royal Giant. I don't have them. I don't have the mini packet either. So really the way for me to beat the Royal Giant is through offense. You know, just hit them hard. Hit them even harder than they hit you. So my minions are down. Looks like they're doing pretty good. Not quite enough though. We're going to have to use the zap there. And we're still in this. But this guy is definitely, definitely in the lead. The Royal Giant, he's just like throwing it at us. He's not even really doing anything. He's just throwing the Royal Giant at us. So, you know, it's easier to counter that than if he had a bomber behind or if he had 
a wizard behind, something like that. So we got it, but he still crushed us, dude. So now we pretty much have to get the three crown if we're going to win. Good thing we have a plan, right? So there we go with the giant. We're trying to distract here. We got some minions as well to help clean up. And it's down to a minute and 30 seconds left. Oh, <laughs> there's the balloon, man. There is the secret weapon. We waited uh, not quite as long this time, but it was a minute and 25 seconds left, I believe, when we, when we hit it. So there we go. Uh, he seems to have nothing to defend with. You can see he has the goblins spear goblins but he didn't even drop them because it was just too late now this guy has a spawner deck here that could be annoying for us because he can drop that spawner hut and distract our balloon he can move our balloon around so we're gonna have to take that out first with this beastly push i love that push dude giant valkyrie with something behind and then the balloon you drop the balloon and it just sails up there there it is man peace he took out our tower, no big deal. We're, we knew we were, we were gonna lose something here because he has the Royal Giant. He's crushing us. Yes, dude, we did it, man. You, yeah. that was fun. Cool, man. Good game, bro. Anyways, uh, let's go watch another, guys. We should be able to find something fun. It might not be a three crown, but it'll be fun. Let's go do it. All right, dudes, I just did this match right here like a couple of minutes ago. It worked pretty good. Let's check it out. Uh, Julio or Julio, what's up, buddy? How are you? He's giving us a thumbs up. Good luck, buddy. So, uh, wow. Why do I say all this junk? <laughs> I'm always saying the taunts, like, over and over and over. I, I'm, I don't try to be, like, a jerk. I just say, wow, 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 wow. Uh, there's the Valkyrie trying to defend against this stuff, but this is a good push. Especially with that Ice Wizard. It seems to be slowing us down so much. It's hard for us to push through. We were, we were able to push through, sort of. Now we're going to try to keep going up, but it doesn't look good. Because our Giant is dying. Bye, Giant. But look at those minions, man. They're just MVP minions. Wow, dude. They're still alive. Killing it. Okay, they finally died. Now we got to get another push going here. So, two minutes left. <laughs> we both got angry there at the same time. Uh, two minutes left. We're going to put down the pump, get our elixir up. You can Really? Wow. Well played. <laughs> I always say, wow, well played when somebody does that. It's just like, I feel like I have to say, wow, well played, laugh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good combo. So we're going to do the push here. Giant Valkyrie behind with some goblins or some minions. Now it works really well if you get that push going at just the right time. This might not be the right time. We might not get it here, especially with that Ice Wizard facing off with us. It's going to slow us down. It's going to mess us up. But you can see there, maybe if we had a little more luck and he didn't have the Ice Wizard, we could have pushed through. We, we were almost there. So here we go again. We got some minions down. He's coming up the side with a sneaky hog there. Not bad, bro. Wow. You know, I just, I just was not ready for that hog rider. I don't have a cannon. I didn't really have anything except the Valkyrie, so we had to drop it on that hog. Cool. Look at the clock. Uh, it says one minute left on my clock, so I think that means we're about to drop a balloon. There's the giant. We're going to get started with him. We're sort of distracting that knight who <laughs> just keeps hitting us, and there's the balloon. So first time we drop the balloon, guys, and there's 50 seconds left. This guy just barely drops the barbs we zap the goblins that he had put down to defend the balloon and it looks like we're taking that tower now at this point we're in trouble he's hitting our left side so hard we were able to defend somehow some way we had a fireball we had some minions we had some goblins and they saved us now on the right side we're dying wow <laughs> wow I just had to use a giant to push back the prince. Not exactly uh, what I wanted to do, but <laughs> it worked. We were able to push the prince back. We're going to lose that right tower, though, and that means we've got to get another tower. So no time to waste. Let's just go right back into it. He's going to drop a... Wow. <laughs> well played. He's going to drop a, a rocket on us, and we're going to get up here with the balloon. Only got about one hit, though, so we're down to 1,100 hit points on that right side. So there's the Valkyrie Goblin combo again, trying to take out his Hog Rider. Not real successful, but we did take it out. He definitely hit us, though. So it's all evened up right now. So here, guys, I really like to do this. I like to put the Giant in the middle and the Balloon down the lane. I feel like that works really well. It sort of drags the troops to the Giant, and the Balloon is off on its own. There's a Fireball on the Goblins, and boom. <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's so much fun, dude. So much fun. I definitely 
love doing this sneaky balloon thing. Let me know if you guys have ever done it. Saving it until the last minute and then just sending it and boom, it's so trolly, dude. It almost feels like mean. You're, you're tricking somebody because they don't know you have a card and then you just send it ninja right into the tower. So, you know, it's fun. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.